everybody. Hello, everyone. This is Nettie and Dito with the clean teeth and help. So, anyway, I talked to you guys yesterday because um I was letting you know. Stop. Oh. Anyway, I know I look uh not too good today, but um I will say okay. Stop you. So nice ugly. outfit. We were supposed to be going to church, and we missed it. We woke up a little late. We tried to get there. We got dressed in time. Uh, but since we just moved, um, and I mentioned that in the previous video, um, we just moved into our new apartment, um, yesterday, just about. Um, so yesterday. No, we just started. Uh, um, okay, uh, we moved uh, Friday. Today's a Sunday. Rich life. A rich life. Ain't no rich life. It's we not started, a rich life. Sorry. Uh, um, uh, just we just like moved into life. another apartment in our it's same just complex. Like it. It's it just, just has like it. new it carpet. Just, uh, um, everything's nice. Really it's nice. not. Um, I, Dean's I, saying I that because me. there's certain ways that we live. And um, we wanted to live. A little better so we got rid of a lot of our stuff that we had and we're gonna try not to be so cluttered because we usually had uh, extra everything but we put it in storage um, actually in our old apartment when I realized that we had a whole table set eight chairs sitting around in an apartment so yes it was too much stuff but bottom line is we were getting with you because we're about to head out Today is Harlem's birthday, uh -huh. and we will be taping. We may tape live. Again, we will tell you stuff about us. So, if you like our channel, please uh, give uh, us a uh, look, look. thumbs up. Dean, you're just being silly. Come on, dude. Please give us a thumbs up, up. or like our channel or subscribe to our channel so we can give you more. Um... If people are interested, we'll come back with more um, of our real life stuff that we deal with on a daily. Um, so much to do in so little time. But anyway, today's Harlem birthday party. We're on our way to the store so we can get some gift bread. And um, but I wanted to show you guys uh, what we accomplished since ah! yesterday because uh, yesterday everything was haywire but we got a little bit of things together since then okay so closet starting to get the clothes together this is my closet of course we didn't get everything done yet speaking closet we're not done yet um I mentioned in the video yesterday I had to get some curtains. I got curtains, but I didn't realize because I didn't measure. Uh, one thing you should realize, you should measure before you go out to get new stuff for your new apartment because um, I didn't know what size we needed. Um, so they're a little small, but they work for the night. They cover up um, pretty much of the window, but you still have about maybe six to eight inches left of open space so bottom line is we want it covered because now that we're on the bottom floor you never know you might get a peeping time and i don't play them at all anyway my room is still a mess of course everything is a little messier because we're just pretty much still unpacking and getting stuff together that i'm just showing you guys what we accomplished since yesterday pretty much you'll see a difference if you looked in the previous video Dean's toy box is getting together um his dad's getting his room together now still gotta go get his things for his bed today I'll show you guys when that's all set up and finished of course you guys can see Dean's a music man but at the same time he's versatile he loves to play with any and everything because he loves everyone we're still going to show you the mechanoid video later bathroom no different than yesterday 
Bean still has to hang all the pictures. I can show you guys once we're done. You can see. Still a little junky in here because we're getting things scared in. Um, but we put curtains up in here again. Didn't measure, so I have to go pick up a couple more curtains today so we can fill everything. Um, now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. I mentioned in the video yesterday, the game doesn't play when it comes to the animals. So, of course, um, last night, um, got the fish tank together. Everybody's good. Everybody's living. Um, nobody got lost during the move. Um... There's the turtles. There's a tinfoil barb that we had for about six years now. Turtles a couple of months. But there's two in there. And, um, hmm, pretty much there must be some hires because there's more fish to our community. Can you guys believe I had those tin foil barbs in there? No, the tin foil bar about six years. Um, those round fish here. Right there. I had those for about 10, 11 years with the piranha who passed away a couple months ago, but we had him longer than we had our son who is uh, going to be nine this year, 2017. So take care of your fish. They'll take care of you. They live long. Um, they go to, uh, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Are you talking today, Gabby, Gabby? I see you, uh, messed up some one side of your page. See, if you realize, notice Gabby is very clean about herself. She does not mess on the side of the cage that she likes to chill on where her food is. Mess on that side. So, Big Bean has to clean Gabby's cage because. Hey, Gabby! Hi, Gabby! Hello! That's our girl, Gabriella. Hi, Gabby! Hello! And then we go over to Dean's girl. Miss Mimi. She's here. She was at this other apartment. Little Dean was having a heart attack. He said, I tricked him. So we're playing a trick on him. See, she's, she hisses at you. This is a cockatiel. We had two. They were pretty expensive, $150 a piece. See, she's flying her wings up at me. And she hisses. That's the only reason why I call her Mimi. Um, she's not a very nice bird. Um, we love birds. We've always had birds for about 10, 15 years now. Um, if you guys don't know, me and Dean have been together for 16 years now. We have not officially got married yet, but uh, we call ourselves husband and wife. We have a nine-year-old son. Um, but 
bottom line is we've taken care of birds for a long time and this is like the meanest bird we've ever had she um was bought from a bird farm and i believe they were using her to mate with other birds see when i get close she's gonna flare up and start hissing you might not hear her but she hisses look at her what is wrong anyway these birds cockatiels they are supposed to be very kid friendly you're supposed to be able to let them out they should be able to walk around the house like little chickens they get on your shoulder they're very friendly birds but this little mama is not nice she will try to peck you she hisses at people we still don't know what to do with her um, we don't like to abandon our birds. We may take her to um, the pet store and see if they would like to adopt her um, because um, we want to get two more, but we need them to be kid friendly because we love kids and we like kids around. So we have to make sure that our pets are safe. For, um, kids to be in the house um, also I would like <clears throat> bottom line is I paid $50 for her and I really think she was just used and abused by her previous owner and that will make um, an animal this is not her cage we do have a beautiful big cage for her she could be upset because she's not in her regular cage and I can show you guys her cage later this is just her temporary cage for the move. Um, that could be another reason why she's upset. She does get treated very friend, um, very fair. We don't abandon anybody. Hi, Gabby, Gabby. Gabby was just standing up like she wants to get out. But Gabby gets out. She um, is able to um, jump around the house. She hops around the house. She's so friendly. Um, rabbits are really good friendly pets for kids. Um, they let you hold them. They'll let you um, sit around and. Okay, so here's the kitchen. Of course, um, everything is still kind of unorganized, but it's together. Okay, just telling you guys. Um, Back this camera a little bit. Um, we got some of the dishes and stuff put away. Uh, see, that's empty. I was see. Don't know what we did, but we do still have to go shopping, of course. This is just how it is when you're with an to see the Nick Avenue. But we will start showing you guys um, when we start uh, cooking and getting things together. That's just the one freezer, but um, we have the other freezer. I'm going to have to go through the freezer because I'm going to have to go to the grocery store. I know I have to go get fruits and stuff because Dean goes back to school tomorrow. So, um, this right now, I'm just pretty much rambling on, but I got to get me and my family ready to head out because, um, again, we're going to Harlem's birthday party and we may show that video later depending on how things are going and how things are done um i could be tired i might not feel like taping and anything but definitely see you good people later i hope again you like our videos and if you do please subscribe and we'll come back with more but please don't judge us we're just opening up our house and our family to you guys to show you how the real life is again thank you have a good day bye